Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sadia Finances. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Sadia and I create all things budgeting related um, to my channel. This um, setup is a bit different. Usually you'd see my hands in the intro and things, but um, I haven't had the time to, you know, get my camera out and, you know, essentially do that. But I thought I would start with essentially just showing you my saving and investing page um, from my personal finance tracker um, and just essentially go through it this way. A bit different, but hopefully next month it'll be back to being the same again. So this month um, has flown by and I've managed to put a bit of money into my investments. I think roughly about £300 and that's not including the dividends. So I've managed to put £50 into my free trade account. 150 into my trading 212 account and 100 pounds into my Vanguard account. In the next couple of months, I might switch this up and either put more into it or less into it, just depending how everything goes. But let's get into seeing what I purchase um, this month in terms of shares. Trading 212 portfolio is currently valued at £3,865.47p. I'm making a loss of 10.40%, which is £448.85. So it's not as big compared to last month. I think last month I was only making a loss of around over £500, I believe. can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure it was around about that much. So there's been a few changes in my portfolios. I purchased quite a bit this month um, because I had some extra dividends to put in. Um, you would see that I purchased some Amazon shares. Um, you would know if you've been watching my videos for a while that I had some Amazon shares in the shares app. I decided a few days ago to sell those, um, sell the Amazon shares in there and transfer that money into my trading 212 portfolio and purchase the Amazon shares from here. So the amount that I purchased is 0 0.563948 point of a share, which is valued at £48.91p. So I'm making a loss of 10.94%, which is loss of six pound and one p i decided to buy this share in trading one two and sell the ones in shares app as i had just had too many apps <laughs> to manage my investment portfolio and i just wanted to kind of consolidate things in their sections essentially apple um this is a free share that i got this month um i got it as a uh, someone used my referral link for trading one trading 212 and this is the share that I got so it's a 0 0.0755027 point of a share and that's valued at £9.81p um, this is up in price which is good so it's up by 2.83% which is 27p so if you are interested in using um, getting a free share from trading 212 I'm pretty sure it's under like 15 days you can use my link in the bio and click on trading one trading 212 and if you sign up uh, and verify yourself and deposit one pound you essentially get a free share within a couple of days and if you don't want to invest um, for the foreseeable future you can still use the um, link and then sell your shares and I think you get the monies within 30 days up to you like whether you want to invest or not but if you do want to, it's always best using a referral link so you can get a free share out of it. So I purchased nine shares in Barclays this month. So the current value, so the amount of shares I have now is 34 and the current value is £49.68p. I'm making a loss of 8.03%, which is a loss of £4.34p. I also purchased quite a few shares in Sainsbury's this month and, and now I have 100 shares I'm pretty sure I've purchased around 10 shares which isn't a lot because I'm pretty sure I've purchased more than that for Sainsbury once so the current value is at £191.54 p. I'm making a loss of £48.74 p, which is 20.28% the next share I purchase is from Procter & Gamble I purchased one share this month and I now have three shares so it's currently valued at £342.77p and I'm making a loss of 68p which is 0.20%. When it went down in the red I decided to purchase it because I've been wanting to purchase it for a while so I did so. Um, realty income I purchased two shares this month so, the, so I have seven shares now and the value is £370.31p it's up by £27.4p and so 7.88%. I normally wouldn't purchase in the green, but 
it's been in the green for so long and I was like, you know what, I've got the money, I'm just going to buy it. I didn't purchase anything into Stag Industrial this month. Tesco's I purchased about 15 shares, so now 100 shares, which is valued at £212.80p. I'm making a loss of £38.6p, which is 15.17%. And yeah, that's about it. Under Armour, that's another free share that I got last month, um, which is a bit down. I don't know whether I'm going to keep this share, but once it goes up in price, I'm pretty sure I'll probably sell it. Um, and let me just see how my allocations are looking. So Unilever is still the biggest um, share in my portfolio. Then it's Stag Industrial, Realty Income, Procter & Gamble, Tesco, GSK, Sainsbury, Johnson & Johnson, Tesla, that's Roy Mail, and then Coca-Cola, Ford, Accardi Group, Barclays, EasyJet, Amazon, Bank of America, this, I think it's Halion, Helion, whatever it is, and then Ava. So I've got a lot of uh, shares in my portfolios, and in the future I will be condensing this as well. I also got the Metro share for free as well, I think that was from last month. So yeah, whether I'll keep that, I'm not 100% sure it's i'm just it's sort of once it goes into the green once i do a bit more research i'll see whether i want to keep them or sell them off so yeah let's get into my next portfolio <laughs> my free trade portfolio is currently valued at 323 pound and 93p it is down by 25 pounds and 7p so not a major loss um but i do expect the market to continue being going up down up down essentially and i do see my portfolio being more in the red for the next couple of months so i only purchased shares into the FTSE 100 so before i had 20 shares now 28 shares so that's plus eight shares <laughs> and the value is 193 pounds and 22p it's down by 3.19 percent which is three six pound and 70 not 70 six pound and 37p loss UK dividends is the same, the 18 shares, um, £117.85p, and it's the current value and it's down by 11.34%, which is just under, I would say, £15. Podpoint still have 14 shares, um, the current value is £6.72p, which is a big loss of 75.62%, which is around £20-25, I would say. UK property is a share that I got free this month. Um, Someone used my referral link for thank you and the current value is £4.49p. The referral scheme for um, free trade has actually changed. So you just have to use um, the referral link, sign up as you normally would do, but you just get a £10 free shares, um, I would say. And that's it. Before it used to be between £1 to £200. I wouldn't say that free trades... Um, like referral scheme is like the best scheme out there um, compared to you trading to one two. It's not all that, um, but you get some decent shares, depends. So yeah. Vanguard portfolio is currently valued at £2,259.04p. So I invested £100 in this month and I just used it to mainly purchase the S&P 500. Um, units. So the FTSE 100, I still have 24 units and its current value is £742.44. It is down by £23.55p. The S&P 500, I think I purchased one or two units, I can't really remember. I know, I should write it down. But the current value, the current unit is 24 and the current value is £1,505.34p. It is up by £4.54p. So both... Um, units are the same so which is good news but once it gets to 50 units for both the 50 FTSE 100 and S&P 500 I'll be looking at some other um, holdings to invest into. Cash that I've got left over is £11.26p and I'll be using this amount next month to reinvest either into the S&P 500 or the FTSE 100. So overall my portfolio is um, down by £19.01p so it is in the red like the rest of my portfolios are but I've had a good month in terms of dividends, so let's get into that. This month has been a great month in terms of dividends. I think it's my highest dividends ever, and that's because of the amount that I received from my company dividends, which I'm really, really happy about. It's, you know, for me, it's um, a side, not a side income, it's like a passive income, so I'm just really, really happy with the amount that I've earned. 
and obviously all of it got reinvested apart from I think about £55 which got invested into my life lifetime ISA which I recently opened so let's get into tracking the dividends so Coca-Cola it's the usual I think it's 66p and Bank of America just the one share and that was about 17p I will probably buy some more but um, I'm going to buy it when it's down GSK was £2.11p from a company this is the best one ever £154.60p like that is amazing like I think it was April this year that I earned I think about £80 in dividends from a company share but £154 is amazing obviously so it's because the head office like the company where it's based is in Europe they also do like a tax deduction from there which is kind of annoying because I'm not based in UK and I'm based in the UK but I'm not based in Europe so yeah that's a bit annoying um real to income I earned two pound up two pounds um 94p just 94p stag industrial is two pounds and 73p the FTSE 100 is £9.17, which is a good amount. Ipsy Daisy put it in the wrong one. I meant £9.17 for the FTSE 100. And the S&P 500 is £5.44p, which is also a good amount. So let's go up and see the total. It's £175.82p. and I'm like so chuffed to do this. I'm just going to bore this. So I know it's my highest <laughs> earning, <laughs> earning for the month, um, the year. I think you get what I meant there. <laughs> so, so far I've earned £373.36 in dividends, which is good. Um, but obviously next year I want to increase this amount. And there's some obviously low months like February, May and August. So those are the months I'm just going to look to see how I can improve those months too. So that I'm earning a good amount of dividends on a monthly basis I would love to earn like £100 on a monthly basis and maybe one day I'll earn like 2000 maybe £3,000 in dividends but we'll see I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, if you have please do like and subscribe to my channel leave a comment below let me know what was your highest dividend um, earnings but if you don't invest let me know how your budgeting was going for the month um, so yeah, hopefully it wasn't too rushed for you guys. I have uploaded, I've recorded and uploaded on the same day. So if the quality isn't that great, I do apologise. So but thanks for watching anyway. Um, see you in my next video.